Hey you guys, welcome back. So I've been seeing a lot of posts on the forums lately from new Equinox owners who are complaining that they'll get a good signal, but once they dig into the ground, it either disappears or it turns out to be a bent nail or some other piece of iron junk. Uh, that's what you call falsing, and today I'm gonna try to find an example of that and show it alongside of a good target and hopefully explain the difference between the two and maybe help some people cut down on the amount of junk targets they're digging. So stick around and we'll get started. Okay, here we have what I believe is gonna be a good example of falsing. And one thing you'll notice right away is that the signal seems to be hit or miss and the numbers are kind of all over the place. When you get on a good target, that, that tone's gonna be there every single time so long as you keep your swing speed consistent and your coil location the same. This one not so much. Uh, another dead giveaway to falsing iron is a lot of times when you go to pinpoint, the pinpoint location will be off by a couple of inches compared to where you originally heard the tone. All right, let's dig this one up and verify that it is indeed falsing iron. There you go, a rusty nail. Maybe even more in the hole. Another nail. So this hole's probably slap full of nails. Okay, here I have what I think is gonna be a good target. As long as I keep my swing speed and my coil location in the same spot, the, the tone is there every single time. ID is staying in the mid 20s for the most part. All right, let's dig it up and see what it is. It's going to be a penny. Can't tell if that's a weedy or a copper memorial. Well, there you have it, guys. Hopefully that's useful to at least a few people. Now, I'm no Equinox guru or anything like that. This is just what works best for me. And I do realize there's some other methods for checking falsing, but I feel like most of those have some drawbacks. For example, you can always bump up your iron bias, but if you do that, it's a trade-off. You're gonna give up some separation. And then some people like to listen for the iron buzz on the edge of the coil, but I've found that you gotta be careful with the deeper targets because you know, the deeper it is, the more the ground starts to consume the target and you'll get, you'll get some iron buzz even on good metals. And uh, then, you know, you can always switch frequencies and check the target again, but 
you know, the last thing I really want to do when I'm out in the field is have to do a bunch of button presses. I'd rather just train my ear. That way I know instantly whether I have a good target or not. But anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting, and I'll see you next time.